I can't ever figure out how the thing works. And so I just started talking to Mac. I said, well, that's cool. I, I, I don't use grouping. And he starts showing me all these cool tricks. And I was like, wait, we got to turn the thing back on and you got to show us how to do this. So uh, this is called Mr. Excel Learns How to Group. Mac. OK, so I'm back on the vision. Uh, when I construct financial model, I use a cascading structure. Um, for example, we can start with the first category, uh, which is revenues. And below this line, I will model all the revenues of the company. Let's say revenues, revenues. And this will be the sum of product one and, and product two. Yeah, and then we'll start with second category, which will be product one. And here we'll have revenues and volume and price. What price? Price. And naturally, to, to, to keep it simple, we'll we'll just limit the calculation of revenues as the multiplication of volume and price. Not some should be the product. Right. Right. Uh, we can add the second uh, element, which is product two, and the calculation is the same. Well, actually, here we also can use the uh, sum if, but okay, yeah. we don't have to do right. that. We can just link the, the both things. Yeah, and now the thing about the grouping. Uh, we can group all this 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 area, as shown before, and we can s change the settings of of Excel to change the the the, the way that the Excel sh groups the rows. This this is not very uh, user friendly. When we change the output settings, the rows will be grouped from to the top, from down to the top, not from the top to the to down. Okay. Um, and we can also group uh, subcategories. So you're actually creating groups inside of groups. Yes, and that's why right now I can have yes. only the summary of my of my products. I can close all the all the section, and it it gets better when we add another uh, another level, uh, another level, that's and so here we can, for example. Uh, model volume, and separately we can we can um, also model um, price. But let's say volume will be volume in year in in the previous year, and here will be percentage change. So volume in the previous year was was one hundred. This will be zero. And this will increase by 10% each year. Um, or actually, let's, let's do something like that. So this will won't be a formula anymore. And this will be. So we can link the, the volume to to the subcategory, right? And here we have it. So three levels of the of the structure: level three, level two, level one. Sweet, that's cool. All right, grouping. And I always use grouping as part of automatic subtotals, uh, but I'm never using grouping uh, just alone. All right, let's see if I got this. So. We want to collapse. We want to be able to collapse the details of the section. So I choose all of those rows, four, five, six, and seven, and come out here and group. All right. But the problem that we have initially 
is that they're grouping to the bottom, so it doesn't work well, right? And the thing that I had never seen before is Mac came out here to the outline group, clicked the dialog launcher, oh, check this out, and unchecks summary rows below detail, which takes this existing group, but it moves the minus sign to the top, click OK. All right, so now we actually have something where we can collapse down to the title or expand to show the details. Title, details, title, details. Let's try it down here, see, make sure we got it. Once that setting's been changed, it's going to work automatically. So now I can collapse to the title and details. Two shows me everything, one shows me just the section headings. Uh, so manual grouping, great way to go. I'm going to have to go back and watch the video just to figure out exactly uh, which things to group, but that's a cool trick thanks to Mac. I'll hear all the way from Poland. Good luck tomorrow at the uh, Model Off Finals. Thank you. Well, thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.